Hi, everyone. I have a fresh can of Pompeii from Poplin Goliath. It's their Mosaic IPA. <clears throat> I think this one has stayed around 5.8% alcohol. Um, their pseudo soup has varied a bunch, 6.2 to 6.8 to 5.8. I don't know what it's at right now. Um, and it's interesting, they call that a PLL. They've always called this an IPA, even though it's not that high ABV. Um, yeah, they don't even mention... Uh, they say this India Pale is brewed the same attention to detail as the beautiful mosaics that grace the wall. Even though they don't say mosaic hops, I know that this is... that, that is what they feature in this beer. They don't say the ABV, though. Seems like that's because they like to switch it up. But this is a very fresh can. It's three, about three weeks old, and I got it almost a week ago. Because I think Toppling Goliath more or less like has been flooding the market a bit. Um, and not all the beers are selling that well. Especially because this one is not as big of a name as the Sioux series. When I first had this, you know, like six years ago, from a bomber. And since then, my love of mosaic has dissipated a lot. And that's quite hazy. That's another thing that's been inconsistent with Toppling Goliath batches since they expanded. I mean, I guess back in 2015, their beers, most of them were not very hazy at all. And they got very hazy. Ooh, getting a good aroma out of that. The bubbles are popping quite fast. The head looks pretty nice, but I bet it's gonna die down pretty quick. Yeah, very, very peachy. They say pineapple and mango. I mean, when it comes to, with these beers that have all these tropical flavors, it's, it's hard to pin down one exactly. I always think mosaic is peachy. But I, I used to say more pineapple. But the things that, that has that sharp, spicy, Almost scallion. It's not quite scallion here. This, this note that I don't really like in, in mosaic. And a very slight herbal dankness. But a big, nice, fruity aroma, that's for sure. Yeah, it's pretty spritzy on the tongue. With a bit of a bite. Interesting, because I've had a couple smaller batch beers from them lately that were really nice. Um, well, this one really betrays its mass-produced quality when you drink it. It's not soft, not very full body. It's not high ABV. But from how, how it looks, you'd expect it to be a little bit, a little bit thicker. And it's got a really spicy, carbonic, bubbly spritz, spritzer... How many adjectives can I use? Seltzer, seltzery bite. It's not that nice. It lingers with a little bit of a sulfury, minerally quality. Well, it's pretty good for a mass-produced, widely distributed beer. I don't know how well this holds up because most people are probably buying it at like two months old these days. I've seen a lot of Toppling Goliath cans that are just like, you know, anywhere from three to six months plus sitting on shelves. Or even older. Yeah, this just mainly disappoints on the palate. Just not a really pleasant feel. Um, I don't know if it's slightly over-carved. I think it's just um, how are they fermented, the malt body and how, how the carbonation reacts in there. Like I, I've often thought that natural carbonation can give you a better feel. I still kind of think that for certain kinds of beers. Um, but you know, there's treehouse beers that, you know, they're force carving their beers. I believe most of these brewers do that. And some of those are really nice feels, some not as nice of a feel, um, but they're all a little, a little better than this one. Like, I feel like this is pretty low in bitterness, but there's just this, you know, seltzery, minerally bitterness that's astringent in the finish. And I feel like it's not even a yeast 
Um, there's no like big off flavors from the yeast. Yeah, just close. If they could just figure out how to make the feel and the carbonation better, be a better beer. But yeah, you lose that fruitiness once you start drinking it. Um, so I'll probably wait another five years before I have this again. As for a rating, I mean, it's to some people it might be really good who don't who just kind of drink it and they smell it and they drink it and it's gone. But it just probably doesn't quite make a four just because. The whole experience is not that pleasant, unfortunately, and it makes me a little sad because fresh, looks good, smells good, but then doesn't really continue that. Bye-bye.